Today we're at MARK 2017. MARK is an interactive conference that asks the Church of Oklahoma City to act on behalf of marginalized women all over the world. So we're looking at issues that affect women and what we can do in our everyday lives to make a change so that um, marginalized women are not marginalized anymore. So this year we had two keynote speakers, Dr. Scott Martin and C.C. Jones Davis, and they were really incredible to set the stage um, for how to think about these issues and what we can do to respond, and we're really grateful for their input. So this is the seventh year of Marked. It started with just a few organizations that wanted to work together to have a louder voice than just each of us individually. Um, and it really started with asking people to get involved in our organizations, and then we recognized it was a much bigger issue. We were asking people to begin to work together to really change the culture that women encounter around the world. And so um, we do a lot of learning, we do a lot of praying, talking to each other, and then we do give really um, strong action points to get involved with partner agencies. At Marked, I'm with the Ubuntu Youth Project. We're an after-school program in rural South Africa. And I think this event does a really great job of being able to provide that community not only as a support system, but as an advocacy system um, for us to be able to learn about, share from, share with different organizations as well as the people um, that are living in our city that are benefiting from these organizations and those that are being mobilized to go around the world. So behind me is our interactive learning activities and um, activity stations, so we actually have options for people to do things like make care packs for agencies and we have er interactive learning stations that make you really um, engage the data, have discussions with your friends about what you think um, the answers are, what you think the reasons for those answers are, and then all of our partner agencies are here that work on behalf of women locally and globally so you can get involved and we have a market that um, sells items that empower women locally and globally. This is one of the highlights of our year and is a big refueler for us. I think this theme this year, um, Defiant Hope, is so relevant um, that everyone that works in the nonprofit industry at one point is will start to think this is hopeless. Events like this are what give us the fuel and the momentum to be able to keep going forward. And then each year we have an interactive prayer room. This year we're talking about uh, Syrian refugees and how it disproportionately affects women and children. We're asking people to understand the issues a little bit more and then really um, lift up prayer on behalf of those women. Um, for the prayer room, it's a journey through what it looks like for an actual Syrian refugee. So it starts out um, with normal life, um, completely normal at the dinner table, and then you move into a living room area um, where a family is packing to go on the run. And then from that, you walk into an area called On the Run. Um, highlights six different stories of children that have either left Iraq or left Syria because of the fighting. From there, you walk into a UN tent. So with the exception of about two feet, it's a two-scale replica of a UN-issued tent. And then the final step um, is a prayer room area that kind of gives people a different option um, to pray for those on the run, to pray for provision, to pray for strength. Um, and then also to pray for those that have been left behind. I think when people are able to actually experience what it's like and to feel it and to see it, instead of just reading the news story or just um, hearing one of the sound bites, to give people a, a really accurate representation of what it's looking like for 65 million people around the world and the journey that they're on and how we can become advocates for them and be able to share their story. The conversation about what was really going to make a difference in the lives of women is moving forward and that just is a long, hard conversation. It's nothing that a few hours a week is going to fix and so um, I had definitely seen the conversation kind of elevated into um, issues um, that are really going to make a long lasting difference and so that's only something that can happen is we keep just kind of tilling the soil um, and it's been really fun to see the results and the partnerships that come out of that.